After all, no one is stupid enough to prefer war to peace. In peace sons bury their fathers, and in war fathers bury their sons. Of all men's miseries the bitterest is this, to know so much, and to have control over nothing. Some men give up their designs when they have almost reached the goal, while others, on the contrary, obtain a victory by exerting, at the last moment, more vigorous efforts than ever before. The saddest aspect of life is that there is no one on earth whose happiness is such that he won't sometimes wish he were dead rather than alive. Men trust their ears less than their eyes. Force has no place where there is need of skill. But this I know, if all mankind were to take their troubles to market with the idea of exchanging them, anyone seeing what his neighbor's troubles were like would be glad to go home with his own. Great deeds are usually wrought at great risks. It is the greatest and the tallest of trees that the gods bring low with bolts and thunder. For the gods love to thwart whatever is greater than the rest. They do not suffer pride in anyone but themselves. Great wealth can make a man no happier than moderate means unless he has the luck to continue in prosperity to the end. They made it plain to everyone, however, and above all to the king himself, that although he had plenty of troops, he did not have many men. It is said that on the eve of battle, he was told by a native of Trachis that the Persian archers were so numerous that their arrows would block out the sun. Dionyx, however, undaunted by this prospect, remarked with a laugh, Good, then we will fight in the shade. The longer the span of someone's existence, the more certain he is to see and suffer much that he would rather have been spared. Human prosperity never abides long in the same place. How brave a thing is freedom of speech, which has made the Athenians so far exceed every other state of Hellas in greatness. He advises them that tough lands produce tough peoples. It is the closest place to the stars on earth. Success for the most part attends those who act boldly, not those who weigh everything and are slack to venture. What the Greeks should do, of course, is take advantage of the fact that they all speak the same language and use heralds and messengers to settle their differences anything rather than open warfare. Far better it is to have a stout heart always and suffer one's share of evils than to be ever fearing what may happen. History shows again and again how nature points out the folly of men. Now it happened that this Candles was in love with his own wife, and not only so, but thought her the fairest woman in the whole world. This fancy had strange consequences. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments, and continue enriching your mind.